morning everybody! It's Saturday and it's not just any Saturday, it is General Conference Saturday, which means French Toast! I've been doing French Toast on General Conference mornings for a few years now. I don't remember why I started, but I've been doing it for a few years, so gotta keep it going for a while. Who knows how long I'll do it, but for now this is my conference tradition! French Toast! Um, yeah. Okay, well, we're running a little behind schedule here. We were supposed to feed Colson something new this morning, and it's already conference time. It's on. Oh no. But it takes a while to really get started. They gotta sing songs and stuff, so we're gonna feed him some pears. Ready? Um. <laughs> it's like, guys, you keep giving me different stuff. I don't get it. <laughs> What do you think? Ready? <laughs> I put more on his chin trying to get it off. Whoops. Okay. Well, it looks like he likes it. Yep. Well. Conference is starting, so I'll I'll stop the video. Ah! But oh, oh man, it spilled all over the floor. I guess we gotta go <laughs> all over. <laughs> gotta go clean up. Save the gummies. <laughs> Are you tired? Darn! I was hoping that turning on the camera would make him happy because he loves the camera. <laughs> you had a nap. You you had a nap. Remember? You, you went to sleep. And then, yeah. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want you to play with the camera. Say then, don't shove it in my face, Mom. Don't shove it in my face, Mom. <laughs> We're finally getting around to trying to, wow, that looks really weird on the camera, to uh, decorate Coulson's helmet. We're going to try to make it look like Captain America, so Chris is trying to draw the uh, the little wings on the side. That's not the That's A, not it. it. It's over here. Oh, it's over there. Anyway, got an A. We still got to cut him out. Hopefully it looks okay, and hopefully the stickers will actually last a little while. We're not really expecting them to last, you know, the whole time. We're probably going to have to redo this a couple times. We might end up painting it or something. I just don't know if paint would stay much better than stickers, so... We figured we'd try the easier one first. I'm assuming stickers are easier, right? Um, <laughs> I don't maybe. know either. But, uh, yeah. And Colson has been having lots of fun with these blocks here. Actually, that's kind of a lie. He didn't really care about them a whole lot today. Mostly he was playing with this book during conference. It was really nice. He was very, very interested in that book for like half an hour. It was kind of funny. But yeah, these blocks, we just got them from my cousin, who also brought us a bag of clothes over there that we still need to go through. We'll get around to that eventually. But um, yeah, she's clearing out her old kids' clothes and toys and things. And she's, she's really sad that she's probably done having kids, so she has to give them to somebody she knows, just so it's a little easier to part with them. So, hi! Yeah, do you remember when you, my cousin came to visit? Yeah? And you got to smile at her and her kids. He loved when they came to visit. Yep. So yeah, hopefully this helmet thing works out. Are you excited? Oh, good. Hi, guys! Here it is. Here's his new, his newly tricked out helmet. It's not quite as perfect as I would have liked, but it'll work and it'll be cute. We don't have one yet for this side because we're probably gonna have to paint it onto the Velcro. And look, he even has a little Avengers team over here. He's got the Hulk and Iron Man. It's so fun. And here he is. He's super cute. He's ready. We're going to my cousin's wedding reception in a bit. And here he is. He's all all ready to go with his bow tie. <laughs>
You're so excited. Are you so excited? Yeah. Hi. And now he doesn't know what to do. Okay, Dad, that's enough of a close-up. I'm just going to spit at you until you take it away. Anyway, yeah, so it's going to be super cute. You'll see him in it in a bit. Hey, guys. We're on our way to my cousin's wedding reception. Baby fell asleep in the back. Glad I'm not waking him up. I have to talk really loud, so hopefully the sound will get picked up. If not, oh well. And look, it's going to rain. We're heading right into a rainstorm. This is going to be so fun. And Kitty's back behind us in his car. Back there. They're following us. That's crazy. Creepy. And that. Okay. Anyway, bye guys. There he is, our little Captain America. Hi, bud. No. Okay. I just want that camera. Give it to me. Yep. So we're here at this wedding reception for my cousin. She's over there. See? And Mike's here. Show them the refreshments. Oh, and the refreshments are all cereals. It's a cereal bar. It's awesome. Yep. Good cereals, too. Good choices. So I had too much cereal and cake. She ate two pieces of cake. I couldn't quite Whoops. finish the second one. <laughs> couldn't quite finish the second one. Don't worry, I didn't take two pieces. Brother-in-law said he didn't want the rest of his, so I was like, can't let it go to waste. Yeah, Kitty couldn't finish his. But that's okay. But yeah, here we are. And the kid loves these golden bowls. Until he sees... <laughs> That was great, kid. <laughs> oh wait, I did. I still wanted that. Give it. Come back. <laughs> come on. Oh, inside out. We got a bunch of new clothes for the baby. My cousin just dropped off that bag of clothes. Did I tell him about that in another clip? You mentioned it when we were talking about the blocks. You're right. Yeah, these are the clothes from my cousin. There's kind of a lot of them. <laughs> but we're super excited because it's a lot of like warm weather stuff, which we've been needing because it's about to get warm outside. So, yeah, are you excited? Yay, new clothes! Yay, new clothes! <laughs> Yay, camera! <laughs> What's Captain this? Adorable. Oh, that's the, what the oh. A stands for. Captain Adorable. <laughs> The O looks like a D, so it's like Captain Adverable. <laughs> nice. So yep. One Z. Socks. Socks. <laughs> Will they actually fit him? I don't know. Hey, there's a little tie. Oh, that's cute. I it's just... a clip-on, so he can rip it off and chew on it. Yeah. That's why I didn't buy him another tie when he grew out of his other one, was because they were all clip-ons, and I was like, he'll just rip it off. It's a church shirt. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Nice. That's a good one for church. Yeah. I love how the buttons just look huge <laughs> compared to the shirt. Here's so, some more of those onesies. Oh, yay! One, we have like 20 billion white long sleeve onesies. Two. Oh, this one's <gasps> short sleeve, sleeve and small. Yeah, it's probably too small. That's not gonna fit <laughs> Six to nine months, yeah. There's no way that our six month old is gonna fit into that. No. Sad. You're huge! Three months? But it's bigger than those ones. <laughs> Clothes are weird sometimes, sizing wise. There's a nine month one that's like the same size as the three month. <laughs> well, it's a little bit longer, I guess. A little bit. But not any wider. Your kid's not supposed to get any chubbier. There's a Nike shirt. Nike. Nike. Nike 72. Ooh. Athletics. Are you going to be an athletic baby? Oh, actually, I think that that'd one goes kinda, with these shorts. That'd be kind of no, weird wait. because... Is this a whole outfit? It's a whole big outfit. Oh, that's, that's a cool jacket. Neither of your parents are athletic, so... Ooh! That is a nice jacket. That's a nice jacket. It's pulling out a little bit here, but that's okay. Oh, no! I could probably fix that if I yeah. wanted to. That's a good jacket. And it might fit him now. Maybe. Maybe. Looks a lot of the jackets big. have really short arms and really wide. Yeah. Bodies. Oh, 
well. It's also funny that the jacket matches, like, I think this is a whole outfit thing-ish. Well, these two certainly are. They're the same material, but it's like shorts and a jacket. <laughs> I think somebody's starting to get tired of tummy time. Yeah. Oh, it's so exhausting. Holding your head up like that. Poor little guy. It's so cute though. Have you guys ever heard of Raffi? This children's entertainer from back in like the 80s. Because I loved him growing up. And Cursor had never heard of him. So I had to borrow my parents' Raffi VHS tapes. Because we have a VCR now. Yay! And so I decided to show Colson. And he's been watching. Yeah? <laughs> Do you like Raffi too? Yeah? Uh huh. Look at the show. See, oh. See, this is a this is a video of a concert that he did. When the spirit says clap, you gotta clap right along. When the spirit says clap, you gotta clap. He's a little tired. Oh well. Oh. Okay, so this banana is much more ripe now. So we're gonna try this again. It's hard to get it, huh? He just wants to play with those. How am I supposed to eat it, Mom? I can't even pick it up. Yeah, it's a little slippery, huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. Come on, you're a baby. You put everything in your mouth. How can you put everything in your mouth except the thing I want you to? See, well, I can't pick it up. I told you. There you go. So messy, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! So messy, huh? Can you do it? Yum yum yum. <laughs> You're like, Mom, I really do not understand what you want me to do with this. This makes no sense. I love you. <laughs> like, why are you laughing at me, Mom? Why are you laughing at me? Okay. Yum? Um, yum, yum, yum. Right. There you go. Almost. Didn't quite make it in. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, you're still breathing. That's good. What? What? You've seen the camera so many times, you don't need to get super excited and distracted by it every time. I mean, it's cute, but it makes it so we can't do anything else on camera. Did you just 
just throw that on the floor. Cool, son. Uh. Well, I wouldn't call this a success either, but it's not quite the disaster it was last week, so I guess that's good. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hey. Oh, yeah, hi. Hey. Hi. Uh-huh. Yeah, do you want to tell him what the doctor said today? Do you want to tell him it was super exciting? Yeah? Had to do with your head. <coughs> yeah, wow. I'll translate for you. Okay, so we went to the orthotist today, and he said that Colson is doing really well. It looks like his head is growing like two weeks ahead of where the doctor thought it would be right now. So he said that we might be done by the next time we see him again in three weeks. Yeah, he said that it's already halfway done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super exciting. Yeah, he said that, I think in my last video that I talked about this in, I said that the difference in length between this corner and this corner versus this corner and this corner was um, nine millimeters different. Apparently his paper said 10 millimeters, but that's, you know, a big difference. Um, but uh, this time he said that it was between four and five millimeters different. So it's already halfway, halfway fixed. Uh-huh. Doing so good. Just growing so fast. Well, really, I'm not surprised because remember how um, at his last well child checkup at his, I think it was four months, his four month checkup, his head was in the 90th percentile. Well, at his six month appointment, it was almost at the 94th percentile. So, what? <laughs> why do you have such a big head? Why do you have such a huge head and why is it growing so fast? See, I was just trying to speed that part up so the helmet wouldn't take so long. Well, okay. I guess we can go with that. I guess we can go with that. Nummy star. Nummy star. Want to put it on here? Put it on there? Hey, Mom, I have no idea what that means right now. Want to take the blue one off? Here, let's take the blue one off. Oh, it makes noise. There you go. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Whoa. You're a crazy baby. And you can please. Trying this again with a pear this time. Definitely easier for him to grab. But he's just kind of sucking on it. <laughs> it's not really biting down on it. I've been showing him how to do it. 
but he's just sucking on it. <laughs> Seems to like it though. Been sucking on it for quite a while. So as I was finishing up the edit for this vlog, I realized that it ended kind of awkwardly. So I figured I'll do another clip here at the end, just to hopefully make it a little smoother. Um, anyway, uh, I do want to mention, I'm sure somebody is freaking out about me giving Colson pieces of food when he doesn't have teeth. So I just want to explain a little bit. Um, so I don't know if you've heard of this thing called baby led weaning. Um, it's some f like feeding philosophy, I'm not sure what the term would be. But, um, where basically the idea is that you just give the baby, um, food that your family is eating anyway and just kind of have the kid eat with you guys and feed himself and kind of self-regulate, um, and just kind of, I don't really know how to explain it, but, um, and so, so the kid learns how to feed himself and explores the different textures of food right at the beginning instead of just getting used to being spoon-fed and stuff like that and um, obviously like if you look it up and read about it you'll notice that I'm not actually doing it quite the way you're supposed to um because um, like he wasn't eating with us at the dinner table and stuff um but because I just I feel like the actual philosophy wouldn't work super well for our family right now for several reasons because A, we really don't eat super healthily. Like, most of what we eat is mac and cheese or like spaghetti with canned tomatoes and tomato sauce and stuff that has a ton of salt in it, which is not good for babies. Um, and, you know, just a lot of things like that that are super processed and not not fresh <laughs> um i'm i'm not a good cook well i'm not a bad cook but i hate cooking um and so i just i don't do well with healthy dinners so i'm not gonna try to have colson eat what we're eating yet because <laughs> i don't think it'd be a good idea for him to have mac and cheese like the boxed kind right now um, another reason is that I'm on the WIC program, and they they give me so much baby food per month now that he's six months old. Like, the jarred kind. It has to be the jarred kind. And, like, bef before I got on the program, I was planning on, like, pureeing my own baby food because it would be cheaper. Um, and one, one of the things that a lot of pro-baby lead weaning people like about baby lead weaning is that you don't have to bother pureeing stuff yourself. Um, so for me, that would be a draw for it for me if A, I was better at cooking healthy meals and B, I wasn't getting the jarred stuff for free from the WIC program. But uh, since I am getting it for free, I'm gonna use it. Like, <laughs> you know, it's it's better, it's, def it's not like the jarred stuff is bad for him anyway. The, if you look at the ingredients on it, it's like bananas and Ascorbic acid type stuff, you know, like ascorbic acid and vitamin C are the only things on the ingredients list for baby food that I've seen that aren't like the actual fruit or vegetable. Um, well, or water. Sometimes there's water in them, but um, anyway, I kind of lost my train of thought here. But basically, I just wanted to explain that this giving babies chunks of food thing is an actual thing. I'm not just super crazy. I mean, you can think I'm crazy if you want. Whatever. But just know that there was a reason behind why I was doing that. So, yeah. I guess that will be the end of this week's vlog. So, have a good week, and we will see you next time.